Hi there, I'm Beth with 50 Plus Beauty and I am so excited to be here with you today. I have moved into my new house on May 5th. It is now June 15th and finally I am seeing that the house is going to actually get done. I am so excited and I look forward to sharing all the progress that I have had in the last week or so on the house with you. But before I get into that, I did want to give special thanks and a shout out to the sponsor of this video, Sleep and & Glow. And for those of you who follow my channel, you know that maybe for the past six or seven years, almost the whole time I've been on YouTube, I have used these fantastic Sleep & Glow pillows because this is a way to sleep on your back and really not spend eight hours pressing wrinkles into your face. Look at this, for you side sleepers, this is what you're doing to your face. You are pressing wrinkles into your face all night long if you use a conventional pillow. And I really think the Sleep and Glow pillows are one of the reasons, one of the most important reasons, that at 66 years old, my skin looks pretty darn good, I have to say. And mostly I have been sleeping on this Omnia pillow and I slept on this for years after starting with the Ala pillow. And this is their pillow just for back sleepers. And here is a look at someone on an Ala pillow. And the reason I have this one now is I had started out with this one long ago to kind of learn how to be a back sleeper and then I went into the Omnia pillow and the Omnia pillow is for you ladies who really like to be side sleepers because basically it is specially formed to allow you the option of sleeping on your back and as you can see there in the drawing it has a divot for you to place your head and be a back sleeper or if you want to sleep on your side you can do that and look at this I'm totally sleeping on my side this is a great pillow if you are mostly a side sleeper and normally when I slept on the Omnia pillow I would always start out for most of the night being a back sleeper totally because it was super comfortable for me and then maybe at three or four o'clock in the morning if I wanted a little a little relief a little side sleeping which is always kind of comfortable I would turn on my side and sleep the rest of the night just for you know an hour or so maybe two hours on my side. Well, for the past five or six weeks, Alan and I have been living in this new house, sleeping in the basement, and all beauty bets are off. My devices have gone by the wayside, my schedule has been blown all to bits, and when I sleep at night, I was noticing that I was no longer sleeping mostly on my back with this pillow, which I like to do. I was really sleeping on my side, and I was wedging my face into it, and I don't know, I just didn't feel like I was still getting all of the benefits I used to receive by being a back sleeper by mostly using this pillow to sleep on my back. I had just gotten out of the back sleeping habit. So basically, I started again using this Ala pillow. And the Ala pillow is just for those of you who want to learn to be a back sleeper. And I have been sleeping on this now for the past week and loving it. Basically, you just put your head in the little divot here and you sleep all night long. You can't really turn on your side because it doesn't allow you to. And if you are a committed side sleeper, sleeping with your face smushed into the bed, I would really recommend that you get started with this Ala pillow. And something about this pillow, it is just so soft. It is designed with foam and it is just so soft and so comfortable. And although neither of these pillows are a beauty device per se, I truly think they are one of the most important tools I have used to keep my face looking a bit younger, a bit fresher, and not as lined as I got older. Plus, in the morning, I just don't wake up with the puffiness I used to get. And if you'd like to try out the benefits of the Sleep & Glow pillow, I have included a special discount code below the video along with a link that will give you a very good discount on these pillows. And if you are still sleeping with your face scrunched into a standard pillow every night, I think you would absolutely love the beauty benefits and also the relaxation of either of these Sleep & Glow pillows. Okay, let's get into what you came to this video for, which is a look at my house remodel thus far. And you guys, I have to be honest with you. Alan and I, the last house that we did a major remodel on was when we were in our late 40s and we moved into a house, moved into the basement, did much the same thing as we're doing now. But being in your 40s versus being in your 60s is a big difference. 
and Alan and I have been sleeping in the basement and it is a nice basement. It is a refinished basement, which is just great, but we've been living in the basement for the past five weeks and they are working on the entire first floor and it looks like in about two weeks we'll be ready for paint. All of the trim will be painted in the house. It will be painted white. The walls will receive paint in two weeks. Then the new tile will go in, the new wood floors will go in, and hopefully within about a month and a half, we'll be living up in the first floor. And follow me in future videos because I hope to show our move in into the first floor and also our remodel of the basement because we're doing the basement after we move into the first floor and get out of this basement. Okay, with all that being said, let's wind back the clock about a week to show you the recent progress on our new house. Okay, I'm starting on the outside because I made a decision. I talked with Myra, my friend, the decorator, and I made a decision to go black on the window boxes. They are white plastic to begin with, and I had initially painted them tan, but I didn't really like that color. And so now I have painted them black, and Myra suggested that. Here's the other one that was painted tan, which is now black and I'm going to be using some faux flowers in the window boxes, which should be very easy. And then we added, of course, the black lights there. We still have a black light to go there, and we still have a few more that need to be installed. But the brown door will become black, and Myra says that will really help. The, the silver canes on the front door look really good. And again, those will not be white, they'll be black. And I hope to show you the look of my artificial flowers in my window box you know, as soon as those are available. But those are my flowers and those are real flowers and they're doing just fine. And this is the front door of the house. Okay, this is the great room. And again, about a week or so ago, two weeks ago, Brian removed that wall, which had a doorway blocking the middle of the room. It was really something, I don't know why they did that. The electricians were here today and they removed that dining room light and all of the lighting here. There was a big light up there. And those were gold, but I'm going to spray paint them black. There was a big ceiling fan up there that was gold and white. And we're going to spray that black and white. And here is the big thing which happened today, which I'm so excited about. About 15 years ago, they were doing two layers of granite on kitchen bars and basement bars. Okay, this is how the kitchen bar looks at this point. And as you can see, there's a lot of electrical outlets in this. And apparently, 15 years ago, Brian the carpenter, my carpenter, said that they were putting in these two-tiered little shelves in terms of the kitchen bars and the basement bars. And now he says 15 years later, they're taking them out. And I can see why, because look how blocked off this makes the kitchen. Makes it really, really blocked off. Okay, come here and tell me what you're going to be, what you're going to be doing today. And just talk to me like this. Oh, uh, we're just gonna cut off this. Get the countertop off. Hopefully save these weird looking corbels. Yeah, yeah, I like the weird corbels. Cut everything down. And the electrician will be here so he can get all the wires out of the way. That's awesome. Now what about getting the granite off? Can you can you take care of that? Yeah. That's heavy. Yeah, it will be heavy. Wow. Let's wake you up early on a Monday. Yeah, absolutely. That was the easy one? Yeah. Ooh, that's an awful one. That's a long one. Yeah, this one's gonna be a little heavier. Yeah. I can't believe you can pick that up. That's crazy. Oh my gosh. It's like he's Superman or something. <laughs> Ugly granite going. <laughs> Plan B worked. On that one. Yay. <laughs> Cool. <laughs> You're just chopping it off, aren't you? Yep, piece of cake. Yay! This one doesn't move. It's stationary, right? So it's it's not doing anything other than uh, creating shade. Creating shade, right? We could probably cut this. Right, right. right. Yeah, cut this. Move move it over here. So then it's just stationary. And then, then it doesn't get in the way of this guy. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah. yeah. Yay, thanks. All right. Robert. Yay, Brian, he can do anything. <laughs> How'd you lift that granite by yourself? You don't lift it. You just kind of slide, let it fall to you, and you walk it over there. Seriously. Yeah. It was amazing. <laughs> he was like Superman. You got it on video. Oh, really? I do, yeah. Oh, cool. He's going to cut down the cabinet. Oh, that's going to be so wonderful. 
That's gonna make that kitchen feel so much more open, honey. It's gonna be cool. My open kitchen. So, so then you're going to be gone for a while and then come back. Mm -hmm. I mean, so we'll like, do we'll okay. do everything at the same time. Like whenever. Mm -hmm. Where the she, so the she rock guys have to get here first, and then you got to cut do all your stuff. Oh, okay. And that's when you'll put back up the the lighting and stuff, mm -hmm. and get the new. I'll get the new lighting in. Mm -hmm. Okay, great. Well, I'm excited. Thank you. Good job today. No problem. That's Nick. What a difference a day makes. That's great. Mm -hmm. Yay! Here just a little bit because of that. it's gonna be. A, oh, okay. We have a stud right here, so oh. we need to be over here. Okay, and I think it will be. So yeah. yeah so that wire is up there. So basically, all the trading drywall by us. Awesome! Very good, Nick. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Appreciate it. You don't good, have any lights in here. Now, good work today. Oh, that's okay. As you can tell, we're not really taking too many showers in here, are we? Because yeah. <laughs> the kitchen felt very closed off. And so now the kitchen is much more open to the eating area and it is much more open to the great room area. So I'm very excited about that. And now the granite people can come out and template that. It will have an overhang of actually quartz, not granite. And then we'll have little saddle type bar stools there. And all of the kitchen cabinets will be painted white. That will become black. We have a new light fixture there because I didn't care for that one. But here is how the kitchen looks. It is a lot more open, and here it is coming in from the dining room and from the coffee bar. But look how much more open that is. That is so exciting. Okay, let me show you the next thing, which is the master bedroom. Actually, it's not really the master bedroom, although there was a ceiling fan there, and the electrician took that down, and we will be getting rid of that and replacing it with a white ceiling fan there. This is the lighting that the electrician took out of the living room. This was gold, or is gold, and that was the entry light. And there is the ceiling fan that was in the great room. And basically, we're going to be painting the metal parts of those two items black. Then, as you can see, the blades of the ceiling fan are very shiny white, which is too modern for me. So I'm going in with a soft white, which is matte. And then the metal parts, again, will be black because I want to continue to use my existing furniture that I had in the other house. I love the gold, but it does not work with my stuff. And da, da 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 this is the master bath today. And I am so excited because the electricians, you can't see it, but they moved the can light electrical up to that portion of the ceiling because there had been a soffit there, which really made this bathroom look small. There was a soffit all the way along here, which really made the ceiling come down. So they got that done. So we'll have two can lights there. We'll have a chandelier, a crystal chandelier hanging there. This window has moisture in between it, and this will just become a clear glass window. And I love white plantation shutters, so we'll have white plantation shutters. We will have crown molding in the bathroom. We'll have a huge shower that is largely glass, thick glass. Love that, I can hardly wait. We've been showering in the basement. But anyway, that is the end of day one of this week. Had a lot of progress, which is just wonderful. Okay, that's where we are right now with regard to the new house. And supposedly this next week, the plumber's going to come in and hook up all the new plumbing behind the walls in the bathroom. The electrician is going to come in. The drywaller is going to come in. We're going to get everything drywalled. The old tile will come out of all of the existing bathrooms. The carpet will come out of the bedrooms. The wood flooring will be all removed. And then in two weeks, July 1, supposedly, the painter will come in, paint all the trim. He's going to spray paint all the trim and cabinets white. He's going to paint the walls on the first floor. I can hardly wait. And then the new tile goes in, the new wood floor goes in, and hopefully in about five or six weeks, we'll be moving back into the first floor. I can hardly wait. Now, one thing though that I had forgotten, we've done a lot of house remodels in our 42 year marriage. We have basically flipped about 14 of our own homes and we have bought another 30 homes, rental homes and others that we have flipped along the way. 
but this one has been kind of a challenge living in the basement and living in very close quarters. And I'm going to share something with you, and that is that Alan and I rarely fight. You know, after 42 years, we've learned how not to push each other's buttons and how to steer clear of fight-type situations whenever possible. But this past week, we had one, and basically I was complaining to Alan about this contractor didn't show up. When is that one coming? I was all, you know, upset about everything. And he says to me, Beth, I hate to say this, but you have been very negative. You are, you have been totally negative on this recently and it is driving me insane. You have got to start being more positive. And we were on our way to lunch at that point and I got really mad and I thought, I'm just not going to talk to you. So I didn't talk to him pretty much all through lunch. I didn't talk to him the rest of the day. And then I tend to fall out of my anger, you know, within three or four hours. And basically that evening we were watching Netflix and during the show I said to him, do you apologize for what you said to me today about my being so negative? And he said, yes, honey, I apologize. I love you. And then I said, well, I have to admit, I, I have been negative. I really apologize. I don't know what it is, but I've been so upset about this. My house is a wreck and I'm just worried it won't get unwrecked but I'll really do my best to try to be more positive. And I guess my thought for the day is, when you have an argument with a spouse, significant other, or someone important in your life, it's always important whenever you can to admit your fault in that particular argument so you can both get over it and move on with your day. And, and I have to admit that one of the reasons I was so angry with him is because he was exactly right. I had been being so negative and negativity does not help anything and negativity is especially damaging in a case like this because I truly believe that what we think about or say comes about and I really don't want the difficulties and slowdowns to continue. I want a beautiful house that comes together easily and effortlessly and so I need to put my thoughts, words, and action more in that direction to help me get through this and that is a good tip about life in general our attitude really does control our outcome. Take care and I'll see you in my next video.